Are you looking for a workout that will help you build strong bones? Join me for this 30 minute strong bones workout, which will help improve bone density, body composition, performance, and health span. I'm Caroline Jordan, your certified health and fitness coach, and I want to tell you more about exercise for bone health. Most people are familiar with the benefits of exercise, such as improving muscle strength and endurance, reducing the risk of heart disease and stroke, and preventing obesity. But perhaps not as well understood is the importance of regular physical activity in building and maintaining healthy bones. Because, you know, inactivity causes the loss of bone. Exercise works on bones much like it works on muscles. It makes them stronger. Exercise is important for building strong bones when we're younger and it's essential for maintaining bone health when we are older. Because bone is living tissue, it changes over time in response to the forces placed upon it. When you exercise regularly, your bone adapts by building more bone and becoming denser. This improvement in bone requires good nutrition, including adequate calcium and vitamin D. Another benefit of exercise is that it improves balance and coordination, which is especially important as we get older because it helps to prevent falls and broken bones that might result. There are many different types of exercise and they all offer health benefits. The two types that are most effective for building strong bones are weight-bearing exercise and strength training exercise. In this Fall Alone Strong Bones workout, we'll perform both weight-bearing exercise and strength training exercise so that you get the best bang for your buck with this 30-minute workout. All you need to get started is a set of dumbbells and some space. Oh, and a positive attitude, of course. Meet me in your workout space and let's build stronger bones together for a longer and happier life. A great workout starts with an even better warm up. Meet me in a march and let's get this started, shall we? Roll your shoulders down and back, breathe in good energy, and exhale the rest. First exercise step touch with an arm jumping jack. Here we go right to left, stretch your shoulders, stretch your chest and move at a pace that feels right for you today. Meet your body where it's at and it'll love you back. I want you to use this warm up time to mobilize your body, get your heart rate up and prepare for the strength exercises to come next. Good, I'm already smiling. <laughs> this movement medicine is very effective for mood boosting. You got it. A little more energy, a little more oomph. And march. Drive those elbows back, check your posture, and check your attitude. We're in a good mood. Next warm up exercise is a butt kick with a reach and pull. So, We'll reach and pull those arms, bringing our heels towards our bottom, stretching our quads, engaging our glutes and our hamstrings. I have some really juicy strength exercises in on deck for us. It's going to be a good time as it always is on this channel. Whew. Heart rate should be coming up. Can you give me a little more pep in each rep? That's it, nice job. Right here with you. All right, March. We move on to a squat to calf raise. I want you to open up those hips and start to mobilize through your ankles. So take your feet about hip distance apart and we're going to take a deep breath in and when you're ready, we squat down, stand up, now lift your heels and lower them. So I use this move with a lot of my clients. It helps really prepare the body for strength exercises. You're getting some hip mobility, some ankle mobility. Your heart rate should still be going. 
Yeah, look at you. Drop it like a squat. Make sure you squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. Good. This video goes out to all my Patreons who requested more strength workouts. Delivered. All right, march it out. Let's stretch through your hamstrings and start to work on a little bit more mobility, still warming up. So take your right arm forward, take your left leg back, make sure you're not gonna kick your cat or your dog, and we're going to kick this leg towards the hand and back. So hamstring mobility, and then also, I'm getting hip and glute strength on the supporting leg. Now, of course, if you need to hang onto a wall and do your leg kicks, go for it. Make this work for you. But if you can, challenge yourself by reaching that arm forward, trying to kick your hand. Now, I'm no prima ballerina, so I like this move because it helps me work on my active flexibility. <sighs> Keep going, you got 45 seconds, but remember, you only do it once. <sighs> nice job. Whew, my standing glute. Really working. Okay, second side. So make sure you clear your furniture. Don't get a hurt foot doing this workout. Reach your leg back. Zip up through your core. Find your ballerina posture. And here we go. Let's kick. So touch and back. You'll probably notice one side is easier than the other side. Totally normal. We are not made symmetrical. So... Even if you have the most perfect exercise and lifestyle program, the body just is not always balanced. But that's okay, we accept ourselves, we're at. We make the most of it. Ooh, my gosh, that standing butt cheek is like, hello, I coming to the party. <laughs> nice job. Do as many as you can with good form. Quality over quantity and relax. All right, if you need to hang on to a wall for the next exercise, you can. I'll show you both options. So you're going to stand on your right leg, reach your left leg out to the side, and we're just gonna swing this leg forward and back. You ready? We go forward and back. So if you're doing it standing with no support, you're getting a little bit more standing glute work. However, if you use a wall for balance, it's still just as beneficial. So the more you practice this routine, the more you'll be able to play around with what options work for your best for your body. This is helping you build balance, which is so important, not only in performance, but in injury prevention. Good, keep your abs tight. You should be feeling your standing butt a lot. That means you're doing it right. Good, switch sides. So I'll show you again both options. So I'm going to stand up nice and tall, find my core muscles, reach this leg out. We go crisscross. Ready? Three, two, and yes. Okay, forward and back. If you've tried my chair bar workout, we do a lot of this type of exercise in chair bar and we use the chair for support. So if you haven't tried that yet, now you have homework, check it out. Whew. It's hard, right? We're waking up those hips. These are our stabilizers. They help with movement and they also help prevent pain like knee pain. So strengthening your glutes and your hips is going to help you get rid of ankle, knee, hip, pain and problems. You got it. Ah, it's hard. Good job. All right, meet me at the top of your mat. We're going to do a backwards alternating lunge with a chest opener. So your arms are up like you're closing a book and your abs are tight. You're going to step one leg back into a lunge as you open. So we go lunge and open, step together, switch. Open, step together. This works really well for waking up our glutes, opening our chest and shoulders, engaging our upper back, stretching through our hip flexors. If you wanna bring your knee closer down to the floor, go for it. 
Play with your range of motion. Make it work for you. Whew. Yeah. Proud of you. You're a rock star. Whew. We're in this together. Fit in one or two more reps before you hear that bell. And done. All right, to the floor. We're doing alternating bird dogs. Meet me in a quadruped position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees under hips. Your heart rate should be up. You're gonna reach one leg and one arm forward and then switch. So alternating arm and leg. Set it down and switch. These are amazing for building core strength. And when we say core, we don't mean just your abs. We mean your glutes and your back, all the things that attach your upper body to your lower body. Okay, try not to sink in the shoulders or the hips. Focus and breathe, long neck. You're doing great. Keep cheering yourself on. Positive self-talk is essential. Relax. All right, now we're doing a child's pose push-up. Now, if you have any knee sensitivity, feel free to put a pillow underneath your knees. Meet me in a child's pose. We're gonna reach those arms long, head goes down to the floor, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna rock forward. You're gonna drop your belly down to the mat. You're gonna come back up, and you're gonna press back into a child's pose. So you rock forward, push down, come up, go back. Now, if you're really unable to kneel, what you can do is a push up against the wall or a push up against the couch, or you can just hang out in child's pose and wait, you can just stay right here and wait till the next exercise because child's pose helps decompress the spine and is gonna allow you to really get the most out of some of our dumbbell exercises that are next in line. Good job. Woo! Yeah, baby. That is awesome. I'm a fan. And relax. Okay, meet me on your bum. We're going to do windshield wiper 90-90. So we do these in my hip stretching videos, but this is a little more active. So you're going to go 90-90 on one side, come down, come up, and switch sides. So we go through center, use your abs, go down, woo, come up, through center, ah, come down and up. So we're mobilizing through our hips because we have a lot of lower body exercises today. Oh yeah, are you with me? Okay, stay with it, roll through the center. You should feel a lot of core as you transition and remember, if you're back here because your hips are tight, don't judge yourself. Just do the best you can. That's why you're here, to mobilize your hips and get less tight hips. So be proud of yourself for doing your homework. <laughs> All right, my friend, that's our warm up. Meet me in a standing position and grab your dumbbells. Have a few sets of dumbbells handy so you can swap things out as needed to find the best challenge for your body. Our first exercise starts in 15 seconds, and it's a sumo squat with a pulse. Take your legs wide, toes out, heels in, and bring your weights together inside your legs. Shoulders down and back, butt and abs tight. When you're ready, we squat. So you come down in that squat position. You're going to come up a little bit, lower a little bit, and then come all the way up. Squeeze your glutes. Again, down, up, down, and stand. Now I'm hinging, I'm sending my legs back and down. So not just straight down, I'm keeping my knees behind my toes. My abs are squeezed. I'm feeling a burn in my thighs and my buns and also my abs because I'm using my core to brace and lift. Good, up, down, lift. Give me that little pulse. Don't cheat yourself. And relax, meet me on the floor. Bring your dumbbells. We're going into a hip bridge with a chest press. So you're laying all the way down. You're gonna lift your hips up into the air. Find your nice, strong ISO bridge. Hands come up. When you're ready, we hear that bell. We take the weights down and press. 
The ISO bridge is great because you're getting lower body strength while you multitask and do a chest press. But of course, if it's too much to do both at the same time, just come down, give yourself a rest, do just the chest press. <sighs> Abs tight, ribs in. Focus your mind on what you're here to accomplish, those health goals that motivate you and inspire you. <sighs> Breathe. I'm smiling because, you know, smiling is very advanced. <laughs> nice job and relax okay lower your hips you can take your weights to the side we're moving into a dead bug so arms up legs up you want to keep your lumbar spine close to the mat and when you're ready right arm left leg we're going to reach it out and switch center switch if you've done any of the other core workouts on this channel, we do a lot of dead bugs. Dead bugs are an essential exercise for core strength and stability. And they never get easy. No matter how fit you get, dead bugs are always hard. So don't be hard on yourself if the exercise is hard. Be proud of yourself for doing a challenging exercise to get stronger. It's all about mindset, my friends. Stay with me. Make sure you breathe. All right, roll to your side, let's stand up. We're moving into a shoulder exercise. I'd recommend a lighter set for this. It's an upright row. So when you're ready, we have our weights to our thighs, shoulders down and back, abs tight. You're going to zip up your arms like you're zipping up a sweater and then put it back down. Good. When you're losing weight or getting in shape, typically the shoulders are the first muscle group to show signs of definition. The last, most of the time, is the abs. Yeah, so, you know, shoulders first. <laughs> Just as how, how the cookie crumbles most of the time for most bodies. It's really hard to get a six pack. And it's also overrated. Just focus on how you feel and how, how you feel helps you live your life. Good. You're doing awesome. Let those shoulders burn and relax. Okay, we're moving into an alternating backwards lunge. Similar to our warm-up move, you're going to meet me at the front of your mat, shoulders down and back, and you're just going to step one leg back, come together, and switch. What do you say? Let's do it. Here we go. We lunge back, step together, and switch. Lunge step together. Now I want you to focus on your form. Sometimes it really helps to have a mirror nearby so you can give yourself little checks, but you want to hinge at your hips, keeping your knee behind your toe, nice long spine. I just want to express my gratitude to you for being here, for trusting me with your health and fitness to work out. I love doing this with you. I love it. And you're the reason I continue to create content. So thank you. My butt's on fire. <laughs> Wowza. Okay, that was 45 seconds. I was watching. Meet me in a plank position. So you can do plank on your knees or plank on your toes. We're going into plank shoulder taps. So we're here, abs are tight, butt is squeezed. When you're ready, you're gonna give yourself a high five on your shoulder. So high five, high five. Now you want to minimize rocking as much as possible. So I'm trying really hard not to rock all over. It's hard, but we can do it. And again, you can always do this on your knees to modify. You can go slower, you can go faster. Think about a long neck as much as possible. Do not look at the screen here. Keep your gaze forward. My abs are on fire. Whew. Whew. High five. <laughs> wow. Who needs to do two sets of that? Not me. That was tough. You rock. Let's stand. Lighter set of weights. Rear delt flies. Palms up. Pinkies in. Hinge forward to your hips. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your butt. Here we go. We're going to open out 
and bring it in. Now when you open, I want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together. Oh, this is my favorite. This feels so good. This is a wonderful exercise for posture. Make sure you keep your core tight, abs braced, so you're supporting your body. Shoulders away from ears. Focus on in between those shoulder blades. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling grateful that we're healthy and moving. Looking solid. Almost there. And relax. Okay, come down to your mat. We're doing some tricep extensions. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our arms up towards the ceiling. And I want you to bend your elbows, bringing your weights towards your face. So from here, all we do is bend, bring the weights towards the face, and then extend. Now, when you look at your arms, you wanna make sure your elbows are not moving forward and back. They're staying in place. This is really going to help you engage the triceps. And we're going for the back of your arm. So mind-muscle connection, think about what you're working. Stay with me. You're also using abs just to support a neutral spine here. Wow, I love it. So good. We're hitting it all in this workout. Relax. Okay, weights down. You can meet me in a kneeling position or standing. So kneeling or standing, I'll show both options for the next two exercises. So kneeling, standing, pick your, pick your preference. Squeeze your butt, we're going overhead press. So press overhead and back down. Now if the weights are heavy and you're finding doing both at the same time kind of challenging, try one, just one arm. You can have that as a backup, okay? So abs tight, ribs in, standing is fine, kneeling is fine. Sitting down this might, you could sit in a chair for this. You could absolutely do that. I like kneeling and I like standing because you're able to use your core a little bit more, meaning your glutes and your abs. You can really squeeze those muscles. It's a little hard to squeeze your butt when you're sitting on it, but if you need a chair, go for it. And relax. Okay, I'll show the next option standing. So we're doing bicep curls. So palms face up, shoulders down and back ribs in and all I want you to do is bring your weights to your shoulders ready and there's that bell coming up and down this is the perfect length of workout to squeeze in in your work week but remember it's all about consistency you want to make sure you're consistent with strength bearing exercises at least two to three times a week for your best results you don't want to do anything too much. You don't want to do anything too little. It's really about finding that balance and making it work for you in the practice of what else you have going on in your life. Yeah, 10 seconds, really squeeze at the top. Nicely done, we're almost there. Whew, my biceps are on fire. Okay, relax, you can get rid of your weights for now and we're moving on to our clamshell. So meet me down on the floor. You're going to lay all the way down with your legs in. And from here, all you're going to do is open and close that top leg. So when you're ready, we're going to open and close. Forty-five seconds here. It's hard. But we're in it together, right? How many can you get in in 45 seconds? Well, let's find out. Ah, yowza! <laughs> Side booty is burning! Give love to your buns, hon. <laughs> Looking good. Relax. All right, next up, we've got a side plank. So you're going to take it on your knees or stagger your feet for a full side plank. Choose an option that's right for you today. And when you're ready, 45 seconds. We lift it up and go. 
obliques and glutes. So you can stagger, you can also stack, but try not to sink in this bottom shoulder. Really lift up underneath your rib cage. Think about lifting under your armpit. Good, holding it up here. <sighs> Smiling and breathing. Geez, I wanna do those rear delt flies again. I'm tempted to just squeeze them in. But this is a no repeat workout, so if you wanna do it again, you gotta rewind. All right, if it hurts your neck, you can always look down. But remember, form is most important. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze everything, stay positive. Nice job. Okay, side two, here we go. We're gonna flip it over on our second side. Lay all the way down for our clamshell. So knees together, feet together, abs are tight, turned on. And all we go from here is the clam. Ready? Open and close. Now if you really love clamshells, I have a dancer leg exercise video that works those hips in the best way possible. So don't miss out on all the other things on this channel. And if you're a Patreon, you know because you get the calendar and every day you have something new to choose from that keeps you balanced with lots of variety in your programming. Man, my booty is working with you today. Here we go, open and close. Pry open those legs. Okay, give those buns a nice little pat. Let's do our side plank so you can stagger, you can bend to modify, no problem. Choose one, commit to it, and up and out. Here we go. I staggered, or I stacked on the first round, so I'm gonna go for that second round. Arm up, breathe. This is a great time to practice positive affirmations, to practice positive self-talk, to tell yourself that you're doing great, that you're proud of yourself for your, all of your efforts. I'm proud of you and I'm grateful for you. Don't forget, if you like this video, thumbs up as it does really help the channel. <laughs> Squeeze those glutes. I'm watching this clock so you don't have to and I'll let you know we only have a few seconds to go. Time, okay. Meet me on your back. We have a few more ab exercises. Our first is a reverse curl. So we're laying all the way down. Our hands are by our sides. And I just want you to relax your upper body. Keep your feet by your glutes. When you're ready, we're gonna curl those hips and lower back down. This focuses on the lower abdominals. It's also kind of a fabulous back stretch. Yeah. Mind muscle connection. Think about those abs working. Breathe. Good job. Almost there. Relax. All right, you know me and my butt exercises. We have to have a solid hip bridge. So when you're ready, tuck your pelvis and all we're going to do is lift our hips and hold. This is an isometric hip bridge. So meet me here. And as you're here, think about dragging your heels towards your head. So you're thinking about using those hamstrings, the backs of your thighs and your glutes, then knit your ribs in, engage the core. Notice how you feel. Strong, balanced, supported. Breathe in and out. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the bun show. Here we go. Nothing better than a good ISO bridge. <laughs> You made it to your last exercise. We're finishing with a hollow body hold. All right, hands behind your legs, curl head, neck and shoulders up, extend, you're going to extend the arms and legs straight forward and hold for 45 seconds. Ready, go. 
Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your heels together, press your lumbar into the floor. Think about reaching head and feet from opposite directions. Of course, if you need to rest your upper body on the floor, do it. If you need to lift your legs higher towards the ceiling, go for it. But I want to challenge you to try to do this for 45 seconds. And every week as you use this video, you're gonna find it easier and easier as you get stronger and stronger. And that is so cool. So hold and breathe. My gosh, the hollow body is happening. And relax, knees to chest. Hug those knees in towards your chest and just take a moment to give yourself some love and some appreciation for showing up, for taking care of yourself, for taking care of your health so that you can live your very best life. Let's do a really quick stretch. So lower your legs and take one ankle across the opposite knee, flex your foot, Stay here to stretch your hips or bring that leg in towards your chest. So you should feel an amazing stretch through your hip, your piriformis, your lower back. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, switch sides. Cross the opposite ankle over the knee. Flex your foot and bring it in. If you have more time after today's session, definitely check out my foam rolling routines. Give your body some self myofascial release, some TLC. Good, slowly release the legs. Draw your right leg in and extend your left leg long. Cross the leg across the body and twist and open through the shoulders and back. Call this spine twist, some people call open a book. Whatever you call it, I don't think it ever gets old. It always feels fabulous. So breathe and release here. Good, bring it back into center. And we're going to switch to the second side. So bring your knee in, extend the opposite leg long, and twist, leg across the body, torso in the opposite direction. Breathe. Back into center, draw both legs in towards your chest, roll to one side and meet me in a seated position. You, my friend, did an amazing job with that strong bones workout. I'm Caroline Jordan, your certified health and fitness coach, and it means so much to me that you came to sweat with me today. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and share this content with a friend who could also benefit. And don't forget to help support this work on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness. It would mean the world to have your help in growing this channel and my message of sharing movement as medicine with every single person. Great job today, and I can't wait for our next exercise session together. Till then, be good to yourself and keep it up.